everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cindy. This video is a long waited video because this is actually a book review about the book, the very first book I read in 2020, and it happens to be The Best We Could Do by P. Bui. Yeah, so let's talk about this book that I felt very compelled to do a video about because I can relate totally to what the author or the writer is talking about. So basically, P. Boy book is a autobiographical about her family journey from Vietnam to America. And it hit me hard because I, uh, my family and I, we uh, immigrated to America or the United States or when I was, uh, I think, five years old. So like long time ago in 1995 or so so I have very vague memories of Vietnam M most of my memories are here in, in like America so yeah let's talk about this book that I felt you know you know it really hit the core with me so let's talk about it so th this book is mainly a autobiographical about the boy Miss Boy is going through labor now and as she's going through labor she is kind of like sympathizing towards her mother because her mother gave birth to six kids and she was thinking oh my goodness how much pain how much hardship my mom and my father had to undergo when she gave birth to me and how how hard it would have been to immigrate from Vietnam to America and back then, when she was a kid, she didn't really felt sim sympathy for her parents. It was just pain. It was just straight up, oh, rebellion age, and how she couldn't relate and try and try to understand where they were coming from. And as she's writing this book, she's trying to understand her family history and learn how to be sympathetic towards her parents. And the thing is, you realize that parents, they deal with a lot in life. They have a lot of struggles, hardship, and they sacrifice a lot for their kids. And kids, we don't know about their suffers and their sacrifice because parents tend to, how do I say this, keep it all in. They rather not tell their kids or children about this because they want to shield their children from the hardship of life. They want to give their kids or their children the very best. And pretty much, yeah, that's what I got from this book. And it really hit hard because you gotta learn to love your parents more. And as you grow older, you, you finally realize, hey, I was being such a jerk when I was little. Now I have to, you know, give a little love more towards my parents. So let's go on with some of the ideas that Ms. Bui talked about in this book. So the idea was that for the Asian culture, um, in order for you to get freedom, you have to get a good education. You have to become, you have to go to college, go to graduate school, or better yet, become a doctor or become a lawyer or become an engineer those are the high paid jobs that are ideal in the Asian culture so once uh, we get that high education we can get that well paid job and from that well paid job we will make money money for us to financially support ourselves and get freedom because now money is not the issue the issue now is just us finding out what we want in life and starting a family and buying a house right this is a very ideal dream of most asian family miss Bui brought up this idea how as we were young we would hold resentment towards our parents for what they did or didn't do for us and as we grow older, we realize we should let go of the resentment and learn to understand our parents because during the time that they were dealing with us, they were dealing with their own personal issues. And it's not really their fault that they have to take out of whatever they were going through on us, but we learn to just love a little and let, let it go and learn to be very understanding of people, knowing that don't try to take anything personally because it will hurt you in the future. 
this book is unique in a sense because besides the point of be, it being a memoir, it is actually a graphic novel at the same time. So it is a very fast read kind of book. I think I finished reading this in like an like two or three hours. That was how fast it was and short it was. But it delivered the story really well about the hardship of um, immigrating from your home country to a foreign soil that you have no knowledge of and you have no money and you have to build yourself from zero to something yeah it's a struggle the struggle is always real i gave this book a uh, five out of five stars i really liked reading it i really enjoy reading it because it was i think it really struck my heart because I can relate to it big time. It made me sympathize. It made me feel everything, this book. So I highly recommend you reading this, especially if you are Vietnamese Americans. And guys, it's, it's a fast read. Give it a try. So guys, thank you for watching. I stay tuned for upcoming videos and I will see you soon. 